Even if you didn't know Sergeant Greg Moore of the Coeur d'Alene Police Department, you've probably seen his call letters somewhere in the inland northwest on somebody's bumper or windshield. K27, the numbers the dispatcher called out when he was killed in the line of duty last year. Sergeant Moore was a big part of this charity ride, and now his friends and organizers of the event are going out of their way to honor him. Well, this year is, is especially uh, close to our hearts because it's uh, Greg Moore's uh, event. It was the day every cop in the inland northwest stood still and saluted a hero. The day Sergeant Greg Moore was laid to rest. Greg was a big supporter of the Kootenai County Police and Fire Memorial, and at every event seemed that we had. Uh, the Moore family would show up and Greg was involved in those events. Teams collectively ride 18 hours indoors at Peak Fitness and Post Falls. I sat down with Pat Knight of the Post Falls Police Department and Heath Wiltz of Peak Fitness to get an idea of just how this all works. This isn't a fitness event. This is, um, we play games, uh, we do karaoke hour, we have a dog demonstration. And we do have a beer garden. Wiltz walked us through a back room at Peak Fitness. Uh, lots of stuff for the kids. Our Wheel of Fortune. Prize packages, resort stays, electronics, donations flooding in to support the Kootenai County Police and Fire Fund, the charity that supports the families of our local heroes killed or injured in the line of duty. And we probably have twice as much more that will still be um, going up for auction. Last year uh, had an outstanding turnout and this year we hope to beat that and I think we will. When people come, they're going to be on a bike for part of their time, but they're going to be having fun, they're going to be being engaged, um, they're going to have lots of prizes to win. Most of the teams that are signed up still need riders. You can still jump in or just come to have fun. It all starts Friday at 6 a.m. In Post Falls, Casey Lund, KXLY 4 News.